Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to the power m plus n. This same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. At this here, this becomes 5 raised to the power x times 5 raised to the power 1 m minus. Here also follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n. With the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. As this here, we have 5 raised to power x over 5 raised to power 1 equals to 30 on this side. The next step here, we can raise as 5 raised to power x times 5 raised to power 1, that's 5, then minus. We can separate this and we have 5 raised to power x times. 1 over 5 raised to the power 1, which is 1 over 5, equals to 30 from here. Then, here we have 5 raised to the power x common. We factor it out and we have 5 raised to the power x into brackets 5 minus 1 over 5 into brackets left here equals to 30 on this side. Then, next step here. We can bring this together as one fraction. This is 5 over 1. And we have 5 raised to the power x times the SCM here. That's 5. And 1 goes in 5. That's 5. 5 times 5. That's 25. Then minus. 5 going 5, 1. 1 times 1, 1. Then here, which is equal to 30 on this side. That is, here we have 5 raised to power x times 25 minus 1 plus 24 over 5 equals to 30 on this side. The next step here, we remove this 24 over 5 by multiplying both sides with the reciprocal. That is, multiply this side by 5 over 24. Also multiply this side by 5 over 24. Here, yeah, we have 24 cancel each other and 5 cancel each other. We have 5 raised to the power x, then equals to 30 times 5 over 24, which implies this becomes 5 raised to the power x equals to, here yeah, we can write as 6 times 5, 10 times 5 over, here yeah, we have 6 times 4. That is, here yeah, 6 cancel each other. And we have 5 raised to the power x equals to 5 times 5, that's 25, then over 4. Watch this video to the end and give it a thumbs up, put your comment, and share this video. Next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log. 25 over 4 on this side. The next step here, we apply the power of log ring. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 5 equals to log 25 over 4. The next step here we divide both side by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5. Which implies here log 5 cancelled each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 25 over 4 divided by log. 5. Then, from what we have here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log 25 minus log 4 over log 5. The next step here, 
we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 25 over log 5 minus log 4 over log 5. That is here. 25 can be expressed as 5 times 5, which is the same thing as 5 squared. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 5 squared over log 5 minus log. Also here, we can write 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. And we have log 2 squared over log 5. Then, next step here, we apply the power law of log ring. 2 comes here and also here. All we have becomes x equals to 2 log 5 over log 5 minus 2 log 2 over log 5. Watch this video to the end and share this video with your comment and give it thumbs up. Yeah, next step, log 5 cancel each other. We have two left here, that is x equals to 2 minus. Here we have 2 log 2 over log 5. Then, next step here, we apply change of base from when we have log a over log b. This same thing as log a to base b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5. That is, the value of x here we have 2 minus 2 log 2 is 5. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x. Here, which is x equals to 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 2 minus 2 log 2 base 5, then plus 1 minus also 5 raised to power 2 minus 2 log. 2 base 5, then minus 1, is it equals to 30 on this side. Then from here, we can write this and we have 2 plus 1, that's 3. We have 5 raised to power 3 minus 2 log 2 base 5, then minus. Here also we have 2 minus 1, that's 1. That's 5 raised to power 1 minus 2 log 2 base 5. Is it equals to 30 on this side? Then we apply the law of indices here. When we have a raised to power n minus n, which is a raised to power n over a raised to power n, then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 3 over 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5, then minus. Also, here we have 5 raised to power 1 over 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5 is it equals to 30 on this side then next step here 5 raised to power 3 5 multiply itself 3 times that's 125 then over here we reverse this 2 up from power log that is we have 5 raised to power log 2 squared base 5 minus 5 raised to power 1, that's 5. Then over here also, reverse this 2 up and we have 5 raised to power log 2 square with 5. This is equal to 30 on this side. Then, yeah, this same thing as 125 over 5 raised to power log 4 with 5. Then minus also 5 over 5 raised to power log 4 base 5 is equal to 30 on this side.
Then this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. But this here we have one hundred twenty-five over four minus also five over four. Is it equals to thirty on this side? Then we can bring this together as one fraction. The same here that's four, and here we still have one twenty-five minus five. That's one hundred twenty. Is it equals to 30 on this side? And of course, 120 over 4 equals 30, which is equals to 30 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 minus 2 of 2 base 5. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with a thumbs up and please comment. See you next class and bye for now.